part of this prophetic clip, we hear and see things. And like I said, there's not many people can share it. But I had a one voice one afternoon and said, I'm calling as a prophet to the nations. And God, when the Lord spoke so many other things which I cannot share. Now, if I go back in 1975, I don't want to go to that place on that, but I believe I had an encounter with the Lord taking to heaven. And it, I saw heaven, my eyes open. I saw hell with my eyes open. And Jesus spoke to me. I heard his voice audibly. He said so many things. And I, and I believe that this, this, the, the things we're seeing today is the beginning of the birthing of that call that comes, that came many, many, many years ago. Now, the Lord commissioned me, and he told me that I would do three things. Apart from the Bible school, he said, number one, he said, you will go to the nations and teach on prophecy and prophets. Two, you will demonstrate the prophetic gifts. And, and three, you will activate prophetic ministry. That was, my assignment is to raise prophets and raise Christian leaders. The young, young pastors were coming up. My assignment is to give them the environment to, to flourish, to be equipped, to be trained, so that they can go ahead and fulfill their destiny. That's why I stand here today to share this vision, vision with you. And that's what we're seeing very what is in this very first graduation of Rama Bible College. Rama Bible College, I believe, is a Catholic institution. And it's a, an institution that marries the academic and the spiritual. Because one thing I know from the scripture is that if you take one out, there will be corruption. If you take away the word and, you, and rely only on the spirit, there will be corruption. If you stand only on the spirit, if you, in other words, if you go only on the word and you, 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 you cut out the spirit, you, there will still be a corruption. The two must always come together. Time back when I watched it, a talking point program in Ghana, way back in Ghana, and it was Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Church the head of the Hamadiyya movement, Lovi Wahab, and then who were, and let me say, an equally <laughs> young with a Pentecostal pastor. And they were speaking obviously about Christianity, but it was very embarrassing for us Pentecostals on that day. The Archbishop spoke eloquently, spoke very well, he knew his facts. The Islamic leader also spoke very well. He knew his facts about Christianity as well. But incidentally, the charismatic pastor was seriously found wanting. Not in the night on the pastor himself, but on the entire charismatic and Pentecostal uh, group. From that point in time, I decided that, well, I mean, we really want to be able to match with these historic churches. We need to be able to, you know, not just shout and etc. But we need to study to be able to defend and intelligently, intelligently, and reasonably presents the gospel that we believe in. It is a sad people of Koto. Hey, good evening. Uh, back here, Saturday Night Live, um, with my very, very special guest, Dr. Richard Comey. And uh, we've been hearing all about Ra uh, Rama Bible College. We've been hearing about uh, Rama uh, Prophetic Ministries. Uh, but the one thing that we didn't talk about before the Rama break Chapel. was Rama Chapel. Rama Chapel. Of course, you must be connected to a church. So yeah, tell us about yeah. that before we introduce yeah, uh, Technician yeah, yeah. Danny. I mean, the ministry's got three arms. Let mm -hmm. me say, um, the main ministry is Rama International Ministries, because we have, we, have, we have some branches in other places. Now, uh, Rama Bible College is the training institute. It's not just for the church, it's for everybody. It's global. And now we're actually going distance, you know, we're reaching people all over Europe. You know, anybody can enroll from any, any part of the world. The Rama Prophetic Ministry is about the School of Prophecy and Ministry. The Rama Chapel is a church base. You know, where I, I oversee the church. My wife is the, is the you know, is, uh, is the pastor, resident pastor. Is, you know, we work together as a team. Uh, and um, the, our vision is about equipping the saints. You know, the point is that many people sit in churches. And uh, God has given them gifts and talents and abilities, and uh, which they will give account for one day when we, 
we, we, you know, we stand before the master. Of course. Because 2 Corinthians 5, 10, Bible says that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ mm. and we shall receive in our body the things we have done, whether it be good or evil. Which means that we give account, we're going to give account, we're stewards of God's gifts and you know, abilities given to us. Yes. So our church base is, we believe in training. If anybody joins the church, we, we make sure we, we find out his, his, his or her gifting, her giftings or talents and, and, and give them a platform to fulfill that, that destiny. That's I think that's so important. And that is the, important. Because look, Ephesians 4, 11 tells us, you get some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, pastors and teachers. Which is why? He said, for the equipping of the saints. Mm. So that's our, our priority. Mm. You know, and we, 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 that's the, the thrust of, of, of our church base. Mm. So we have a church. We, 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 we don't have many branches yet because we, what I do is that I train the people who come and I, those who are called into ministry, I train them. When they get to a uh, point where we, we believe that they can be on their own, then we dispatch them. They go out to plant churches. So we, we are replicating church. So the church um, is in Walthamstow, is the, that the correct? The church is, is located in Walthamstow, uh, Sutherland Road. It's not far from Black Horse Road Station. I think we and that's where the Bible College is as well. I think the address should be up on the screen yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yes, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I see it there. So... Um, it's exciting. So you've got this, the, the church, the Bible college, the, Bible college the, and the School of Prophecy. The school of Prophecy. So you've got a lot going on in your yeah, There's a lot going on in the premises. Yeah. And God is blessing you. Oh, God, God, God is blessing you. We have a lot of people coming, a lot of people. People so are traveling from outside London. This is they, fantastic. They, they, they come to the college. That's great. Because they, they love the teaching. They, they enlighten. Well, if it's real and if it's the Holy Ghost, yeah. the people are going to love they, it. They, they, they now, come, yeah. now, you've got a, a technical gentleman sitting with you now. That's right. Um, so... Um, I'm, I'm sure he's going to fill us in on, on why he's here, yes, but uh, his name is Danny, I, yeah, I Danny. gather. Right. Um, Danny, um, it looks like you're bringing some technology into <laughs> what is already a very anointed situation. Right? Yes, yes. T tell us, uh, take us through um, why you're here. What is the, the technology side of the realm of prophetic? Yeah. Um, today I'm here to explain and to you know, try to give a bit more enlight enlightenment on uh, you know a project that I did with with Dr. Kumi yeah um, I mean I've been in the ministry for a short while and ever since I've been there I've seen that one of the things that has been a passion is the Word of God in his life I'm not here just to talk about him to you know to push people out there to come because you're advertising or whatever yeah. but it's because you know I right from the depth of my heart I have seen you know, I've seen that the hand of God is in this ministry and that the word of God is true in this place. In fact, uh, there's just so many things that I cannot explain here. <laughs> in any case, let me go straight to what uh, I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about ramaprophetic.school.com, uh, yeah. a website that I build. I'm a web developer, a software developer, about 10 years experience, right. and I run a business called itmixture.com. Mm -hmm. um, this website that I built, it's an, an, uh, you know, an enablement for people to be able to follow on with the courses, especially two of the courses that has been set out, so that they can easily you know, uh, follow on the course and then get a certificate as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one is Christian prof uh, Christ uh, certificate in Christian ministry, mm -hmm. and then the second one is uh, uh, prophetic, uh, certificate in prophetic ministry. Now, the website is called uh, pro, um, you know, ramaprophetic.school.com. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go there, you will see the website has been built. We have a home page. We have uh, you know, a buy now button. If you are there, you, you are able to, to, to see through uh, you know, the nice you know, design that, that's there with, with uh, you know, the, the, the packages, excuse me, uh, with, with, with the... Uh, uh, you know the, the courses that are listed there yes now uh, what we've done is that once you 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 go there you choose the course you want and then you select it you you, you purchase you know the, the course or you do your payment uh, you get automatically registered on our student learning portal now this is all done automatically and then you get you know uh, the password you use to create the, the you know your account and everything uh, you can use that one to start the courses now there are ten modules for each of the courses, right. um, you know, which are ten video with with Dr. Komi, who is who is teaching yes. and who is giving a lot of insight about the prophetic and the Christian ministry, and uh, also uh, you have a grading system. It gives you a progress of how you are doing, you know, a progress of how you are going about your courses, and it gives you a progress of uh, you know uh, you know uh, your, your time schedule and there's a calendar and and so on. And uh, when you are through with it, you can take your exam at any time uh, and, and uh, you know, you'll be able to see the marks there. 
Okay, let me give you a photo. That's fantastic. So yeah. basically, this website is, is fully linked in with the teaching courses, Correct. and it, you're able to, um, uh, what's the word, the, the modern word yeah. for what? interact. <laughs> yeah. inter, inter, it's an interactive yeah. Basically, is, is we, we've just put for now yeah. two of, the, of these courses, yeah. which anybody can take, really, uh, that is passion for, for this topic. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, Dr. Richard, um, can you give us a taste of what, uh, just a little taste of maybe a teaching sample of, of what, uh, uh, our viewers might expect to see if they visited the website. Okay, well, I'm going to give two samples. Yes. One for the School of Prophecy. Yes. For instance, um, uh, the word prophecy and revelation are two different words. Yes. M many people confuse the two. Yes. As a matter of fact, you can actually combine them and you have prophetic revelation. Yes. Now, the word prof prophetic or prophecy, actually from a Greek, a, a Greek verb, prophetio, which means to speak forth. Yes. To speak forth a divine message, to declare a divine message. The word revelation is from the Greek word apocalypse, which means to unveil a mystery. Now, for instance, I can have a revelation about something, some facts in the mind of God about the future, but I might not say it. So it is not prophetic then. You know, it's, revel it's revelation. Yes. I can write down that revelation. But if I speak it out, it becomes prophetic, pr prophetio, to speak for it. Yes. Now, when a person receives a prophetic word, you know, let's, let's assume it's a, it's a predictive prophecy about the future. Suppose I, I, I come as a prophet and lay hands and say, I, I see that in three years' time you're going to be you're going to be traveling to the United States. You're going to do blah 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 blah. Yeah. You know that is a predictive prophecy. Yeah. You know there are two dimensions of prophecy. It can either be foretelling, you know, that looks into the future, or foretelling that is to do with preaching. You know, because the preaching of a prophet is actually prophetic, because it comes through the, a revelation, revelatory is, is inspiration fountain, in, in in a sense that the prophets don't normally think about what they're going to say before they say it. You know, they pray and they, they seek the Lord, and when they get up to speak, God has moved them to speak. Now, but when a person gets a prophecy, a predictive prophecy will always have three dimensions. The raw information is called the revelation phase. Then you have the in interpretation phase and then the application. Yes. Most people operate only at the level of the re revelation. They, they see a, a woman carrying a baby at the back mm -hmm. in the spirit. I see this vision, but they can't interpret it. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they don't have profound knowledge of the scriptures yet. The, the Holy Spirit's language is the Bible. Mm -hmm. So most of the dreams we even have, and, and most of the prophetic words we speak are all tied to the logos. Mm. The spoken word is the rima, the written word is the logos, and the two are enmeshed. Mm. Because you can't separate the word from the spirit. Mm. They, they, they come together. You know, they, Jesus even said when, when he was going to heaven, he said, I need to go so that I can send the Holy Spirit, who is another comforter, the paracletos. The Greek, word, the Greek word used there is alos. The two mm. Greek words for another. Alos, another of the same kind, heteros, another of a different kind. Yes. And the Greek used alos. Jesus is identical to the Holy Spirit in all respect. No, they're different persons. Absolutely. So the same essence as God, Absolutely. but different persons. Yes. Playing different roles and different functions. Yes. Don't forget 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 5, 6. The Bible said there, there are diversities of gifts by the same Spirit. The Greek word for gift is, is, is charisma, which means a supernatural ability. It's not something you really learn. But once you have that charisma, now you must learn how to use it. It's like I give you a tool, but you must learn how to use the tool. That's why the school of prophecy is important. Because people call me and say, but if I come to your school, will I be a prophet? I said, if God never called you to be a prophet, you will not be. But you will be able to learn about how prophets operate. Yes. So that you are going to be at the receiving end. Mm -hmm. Because the New Testament church is prophetic. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, the fact that we have the Holy Spirit residential. Which